look at using Google Slides on an iPad. To add a new presentation, there is a plus sign in the bottom right hand corner and you would proceed as normal. So we're just going to call it normal and create. Here you have um, a slideshow that's blank. You can do exactly what it says. <laughs> Double tap to add a title. It helps if you spell it right. Now that your text is in, look at your toolbar at the top for all of the different formatting features. Okay, so what I want to show you is on the bottom left, you're going to add a new slide. So select whichever one works best for you. And do you see the plus sign? The plus sign houses pretty much everything. If you wanted to add a new text box, I want to show you about some image options. So I'm going to select this image of some books here on campus. I can add a border, change the thickness of that border. Notice how it's changing, even the style of the dash. But do you notice this little crop option right here next to that? I can crop the picture but I can also mask by type, tapping on that crop. Do you see this other menu, mask? So I want to have my pictures in a circle. There you go, masking your image. You can also rotate it. Anything that you can do on the, the desktop pretty much. Now let's take a look at adding a shape and using that shape to link us out to a specific website. So I'm in my add content menu and I'm gonna make my shape, stretch it out, select the color. I can change the border color. And then also change the style, the weight, and the dash to really make my picture exactly the way I want it to. Now that I have my image, I want to add the link. So I'm going to go back up to the insert and select insert link. For this example, I'm going to connect to the Coppell ISD website. That's the correct website. Check that little check mark. And now go to the present mode, present on this device. I can see that once my presentation opens up, if you tap that image, it will take you to our district website. So that's how you can insert a link to an outside source. Now let's check out some other little options I wanna show you. When you click on the three dots, so many other options come up. When you're looking at your presentation, check out the three dot menu in the top right hand corner. There's so many different things you can do here. What I specifically want to show you is the share and export options because your learners will have several different ways they can share. They can add a person by adding their email address. You can also link share. So when you turn link sharing on, Notice at the bottom how a little menu pops up. Now you can take that link and paste it wherever you like. But also in Share and Export, you can copy the link and notice at the bottom another copy comes up. And then I want to show you Send a Copy. You can create a PDF or a PowerPoint and click OK. And then you have the option to open that presentation in another program such as Notability. So, so many different options that you and your learners will want to be aware of when you are working and sharing in Google Slides. Let's look at changing your theme. Once you have your presentation set, you tap on those three dots and then change theme. Here are the familiar layouts that are included with Google Slides. If you're looking for something a little bit different, why not do an internet search on Slides templates? There are many options that are free on the internet. I'm going to select Slides Carnival. It has many different options. I'm going to select Playful. 
and scroll down and this one looks pretty cute. Let me try this one out. So tap on it. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom again and select use as Google Slides theme. You'll want to make a copy so you'll have it in your drive now. And now you can go through and look at the different layouts that's, that are included in this particular theme. Now you're ready to go, so tap that cog on the bottom and say open in editor. This will now open in slides. Notice the name is copy of, so we're going to go back to slides and we can tap those three dots. When you do that, your menu will pop up and you can rename this file. So we're going to name this fruits. Now we'll go back to our presentation and look at how many slides templates are already there for you to use. You know, you can customize them as you like and then there are going to be some that you are not going to want to use. So once you have found a slide you don't want to use, you can tap it and up at the top you can do the trash can to throw that away, deletes the slide. But then maybe there's another slide that you want to copy. So you're going to select that slide and you're going to copy with the two little pieces of paper. Then you're going to paste with that clipboard icon. So now you have two copies of that same slide. I hope this helps you and your learners use Google Slides app on their iPads.